Okay, in today's video, I am going to be going over an example for some calculations for the photoelectric effect. Please don't forget, before we get started, to subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. I've made some other videos for the photoelectric effect, and you can link to those videos in the upper right-hand corner of this video. But let's get started with this question. Okay, it says here that mono chromatic light with a wavelength of 546 nanometers releases electrons from metal plate so that they have 0.33 electron volts of kinetic energy and we want to know with the help with help from the table below decide what metal the plate is made of okay now once again i like to start up by just drawing a simple diagram you don't have to draw a whole sketch of the whole photoelectric effect apparatus, but I like to just put down my metal. There's my piece of metal. There's my incoming light and my out my incoming photons of light and my outgoing electrons with 0.33 electron volts. We are told in the problem that the wavelength of light is 400, no, 546 nanometers, and that the electrons when they're ejected from that plate have 0.33 electron volts of kinetic energy. And we want to know what is the plate made of. So we need to figure out what is the work function for that piece of metal. And hopefully it will be close to one of these. And then we'll know that it's made of either sodium, platinum, cesium, or gold, because we're given the four different work functions for each of those four metals. And hopefully one of them will match our metal when we figure out the work function. Now, let's, hear, let's, let's write down the equation. Now we're going to solve this equation for the work function, which means the work function is equal to HF, which is the energy contained within that light, minus the kinetic energy. We're given the kinetic energy in electron volts, units of energy. We need our answer in electron volts, so we are given the light as we usually are in wavelength and nanometers, and we need to convert this wavelength in nanometers to its corresponding energy in joules and then electron volts. So we're going to do that first. We are going to use these two equations again, the energy equal to h times f, Planck's constant times the frequency, and let's see the speed of light in a vacuum 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. This is lambda, the Greek letter lambda again, and this is the symbol for the wavelength. We want to know the energy, because we have a wavelength we want to convert to energy, and we're going to do that first in joules, and then we're going to do that in electron volts. So you can see we're going to solve this equation for the frequency, which is the frequency is equal to C divided by lambda. I can plug that into this equation here, and I get that the energy of that light is equal to Planck's constant times the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the wavelength. Now the wavelength has to be in meters, so you got to convert to meters, and I'm going to do that like this. I put down Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. The speed of light we approximate as 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, and this says 546 nanometers, so I have 546, and nano is 10 to the minus 9. Okay, there are a billion nanometers in a meter. It's one billionth, so that is how you can do that, and that converts that unit of nanometers into meters, like that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to solve that, and you should notice that here this meter cancels with this meter, this second cancels with this second, we're left with joules. So when you use this equation, it's important to remember, you don't get electron volts out of that equation, you get the answer in joules and it's 3.64 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Now, in order to put this number and this number into this equation, they have to have the same units. They're both in energy. This is energy in electron volts. This is energy in joules, but they both have to be in the same unit. Now, we could convert this to joules, but since the table that we had had the values in electron volts, we're going to convert this to electron volts, and you know that one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, excuse me, joules. So that's joules, and that joules cancel. We're left with electron volts, and that's 2.28 electron volts. Now, that is the energy 
contained within that light like that. So we are going to say that the energy is 2.2 electron volts. Now you might notice that that corresponds directly right here to the sodium, but don't be confused because the incoming energy is 2.2 electron volts. The energy of the electrons when they leave is 0 0.33, and what's left is what was used to reach the work function, the energy that was needed by those photoelectrons to kick an electron off of that plate. Okay, so first you got to add this energy to here, and then use them of that energy, and then this is what's left over. So we said our equation was that the work function is equal to HF, the energy of the light, minus the kinetic energy, and we can just plug those two values in, and you can see that the answer becomes that the work energy is 1.95 electron volts. That's the work function, this value right here, and you will notice that corresponds nicely to cesium. Okay, it's not perfectly right, maybe it has something to do with grounding, but that is cesium, so that means that that was a cesium plate that they were talking about. Okay, so... What do you know? There you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to do all of the following four things. Subscribe to my channel. Please get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Leave me a thumbs up for this video. Also, a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them just how much you care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.